Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm Agnes. I'm Anne. If you're joining us for the first time, thank you for stopping by. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you also for watching our videos. Please don't forget to drop a comment, click on the notification bell, like our videos, share our videos. I mean, when you like our videos, you help other people see our videos. So thank you for watching and We'll be right back after the break. Yeah. Welcome back. So on today's episode, we'll be discussing on um, parental advisory and uh, being vigilant. Yeah. Where it has to, yes. As parents, we have to be vigilant with uh, our kids. We are supposed to watch everything our children are watching. Very important. Yeah. Yes, this thing has to do with both gender and both parents. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't neglect the job for only one parent to do it. The father should also do that, the mother should also do that, and try as much as possible to know what your kids are watching. Like, you shouldn't just allow your kids to be exposed to anything. Mm -hmm. Even on the DSTV, there are movies, there are certain movies that they will actually put a, put a, yes. a, a, a yes, the, the parental, parental, yes, a guide. guide. 13 or 16 years or 18. 18 years so we should we should take this thing seriously we shouldn't expose them to just to anything to the internet like what does a 10 year old child have to do with uh, 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 uh instagram or should i say um having um i don't know i think that parents should be when it comes to social media yes i think parents should be strict with their children yes if you are not a teenager you don't have any business owning an account on social media and if you are an artist or if you are a gifted child yes. you should have a an account with supervision yes it shouldn't be you, you handling posting yes or handling the, the channel account. or the account parents should supervise their children even when going out for your maybe you programs, program or maybe or you're into your swimming clubs or social activities there should always be room for supervision there should be a chaperon somebody must be there an adult because these children i mean they're in their exploring age yes. they tend to explore some of them are aware of the consequences others might not be yeah. aware they just feel that oh let's go with the flow it is the duty of our, of parents to take care of children and taking care of them not just by feeding them clothing them or taking them to fancy places or no. giving them the necessaries you have to also there's, watch what they are watching there's the place for training we have to actually do the work i mean if your child is airy punish them and by punishing we don't mean flogging floggies or emotional deny them those uh, basic things yes. they, they need like show them the reason why they are being punished talk to them have one-on-one -on -one conversation say you i'm taking this off you why this is what you did and you'll be off this for maybe two weeks one month let them be remorse before you return that thing back That's to them that way they know oh this is what i did and this is what i get for doing this you are actually and you're consciously and you're intentionally training that child i mean because this generation is filled with a lot we are dealing with a lot i mean these children too they are also dealing with this information they don't need them at this time of their life but I mean, let children be children. Yes, especially you don't need to be their best friend. Just, no. just be their friend. Yes, but not their best Bestie. friend. That mothers <laughs> and daughters do not have business being besties. Yes. Be friends, but don't be besties. Because once, I mean, if someone is your bestie, you there kind are of certain things that are kind of soft towards the person. And for your child, you don't need to be too soft. Too soft. You need to, I mean, show them that I'm the mom. And you need to be firm. Yes, be firm with your children. That's the. I, I don't know. But Honestly, I think we need, to, we need to. We need to buckle up. You know, say it over and over and over again. I mean, then even their hairstyles, mm -hmm. the kind of dressing, the kind of clothes they wear. I don't see a reason why when a child is going out, a, a girl of like five years, they're wearing her something too skimpy. Or the hair even, she's carrying, or even the kind of songs they are exposed to. I mean. Why should a child be singing some kind of explicit, even as an adult, I don't even, when I go for parties, like when people are singing those songs, I just, maybe I, if I have my earphones, I, you know, 
You just because it's as adults. The thing that goes on in the mind. Yes. How much more children? children. So is to not expose your children to those kind of songs. Yeah, if I ban them in your house, that oh, in this house we don't play such song. When they grow up, they'll find out for themselves what they like and they can handle it. For now, these children are still children. Let them be children. Let them enjoy themselves. I mean, they can their games that children can watch and enjoy. They don't have to sing all these songs. They don't have to. I see parents even say, "Dance to this song yes. now. Dance to this song." And they'll be hyping them like, "Wow, my daughter can dance or my son can dance no. and all that." Those songs are adult-rated songs, and let adults have their songs. Let children have their own songs. I went for one party, and the man was like, he wanted strictly children's song. At first, I was like, oh, why? But later, I understood where he was coming, coming from. from. You don't need to expose your children to. I don't want to mention the artists or whatever. Yes. But we Any know those songs. Yes. We all know them. Yes. Songs that they'll be singing things that are mean. Yeah. If, yeah, so please don't really. They shouldn't do any competition of those songs. They shouldn't dance to the song. They shouldn't even be found listening to those songs. Yes. I mean, check their phones. You don't know what they have on their phones. Honestly. You Honestly. don't know. See. You have every right to snoop on your child. This is not snooping. Every right. Monitor your child. Check what they when they are sleeping. Check their bags. Check their because the shame is for all of you. Yes. Seriously, I do that in my house. I won't lie. Yeah. I have I have a, a teenager in my house that I have to keep constantly checking. Keep her tabs. Bags. I have to. You just did you, did to. you see the video of an older man inviting a sixteen year old? Yeah, girl? like. Is it a video or is it an audio? audio? Yeah, it's an audio. Like, voiceover. Yeah. If that girl didn't like expose that thing to her mom, I'm sure she would have gone visiting. Yes. So, see, the enemy, they live close by you. They don't live very far. They live close by. It's even in your household. So, you have to monitor your children if you want them to be, turn out very good. good. And I think it was actually. Um, friendly with her child yeah she was open to communication with her child that is why the child was able, able to, to say, actually approach her to tell her and then she was able to make the phone call and all children that. in fact like, children need to be protected yes and there we have the age from ages zero to 18 they are still kids so they need to be protected we should protect the cho children at all costs Just because you don't know exactly what is out there, especially mm -hmm. when they go to school. That is why we need to train our children, right? So that they won't go out there and then be the agents to spoil other kids. Yes, I or mean, one bad egg spoils and spoil a whole crate yes. of eggs. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you can say, it's not my business. Mm. I'm training my child. Well, well, no, that bad egg, when it mixes with your, your own, own child, child, your own will definitely go bad. So we need, as parents, we need to join hands together and fight this. It's actually a menace. Yes. We need to fight it because if we don't fight it now, it will well, come and haunt us in the future. Yeah, definitely. It yes. will haunt us. So let's do the needful. You know, our parents were strict, yeah. but I think we turned out to be good. Some were of us. Yeah, yeah, some of us actually turned out to yeah. be good. But um, at the same time, we need to... We need to balance it. Yes. We shouldn't be too strict, mm -hmm. and at the same time, we shouldn't be too friendly. Mm. We just need to when it's when it's time for us to show that we are parents, we yeah. need to show it that we are actually parents. Yeah. And when it's time to be friendly with your child, you need to 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 to, to be friend um, to be friendly with it. We should just try as much as possible well, to I'm balance. I'm thinking now for social media. Mm -hmm. I thought that when we are feeling when we are trying to get on board, mm -hmm. they have this age. Like age limit thing, yes, that so was on how, Facebook then. I remember like how do young people still is it that they lie or what? How do they not still get access to get an account? I feel it's, I don't think that uh, age limit is, mm. is actually there anymore. I don't think so. So, but we just need to keep watching what our children yes, are watching protect because your children, very, very important. Let's mm -hmm. protect them. Thank you guys for watching. I don't know if you have more to say. I don't have anything to say. Just thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe. Click on the notification button. Like, 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 yeah. like share. Don't be stingy with it. Just share. Thank yeah, you. Thank, thank you. you for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.